The Jack Benny Program, transcribed and presented by Lucky Strike, the cigarette that tastes better. This is Don Wilson, friends, and you know, the right time for a lucky is any time you feel like enjoying a really great cigarette. The right place? Well, that's any place you happen to be at the time. It's true you can depend on a lucky to give you better taste every time it's light-up time. That's because of the truly fine tobacco that goes into every Lucky Strike cigarette. L-S-M-F-T, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. Tobacco that's light and mild and good tasting. And then that fine tobacco is toasted. Yes, before that naturally good tasting tobacco is made into Lucky Strike cigarettes, it's toasted to taste even better, cleaner, fresher, smoother. So when you buy your next pack or carton of cigarettes, remember, Lucky's taste better. And be happy, go lucky. Light up, Lucky. It's light up time. Be happy, go lucky. It's light up time for the taste that you like. Light up the Lucky Strike right now. Light up the Lucky. It's light up time. Track program starring Jack Benny with Mary Livingston, Rochester, Dennis Day, Bob Crosby, and yours truly, Don <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight Jack does another television show, but meanwhile, let's go back to yesterday's radio rehearsal here at CBS. As we look in on the rehearsal studio, Jack hasn't arrived yet, and the producer, Hilliard Marks, is listening to the orchestra. All right, hold it, hold it, man, and hold it, hold it. All right, fellas, cut, cut, cut. Come on, everyone, Mary, Don, Dennis, get your scripts. Boy, is this a waste of time. What do you mean? Well, what's the sense of rehearsing the script now? The most important person isn't even here. You know, Dennis is right. Sort of silly to go ahead without Jack. Oh, I was talking about the sound man. Now, wait a minute, Dennis. Wait a minute. You shouldn't say that. Jack is the most important person on the show. He's the star, and he's very talented. Dennis, why'd you move over next to me? I don't want to have anything to do with that big, fat yes man. (laughs) Easy, kids, easy. I wonder what's keeping Jack. It's not like him to be late for rehearsal. Oh, he'll show up in a minute. And, fellas, wait till you see him. Oh, brother. Why? What's the matter, Barry? Well, Warner Brothers called him up and told him they want to make a big feature picture called The Life of Jack Benny. The Life of Jack Benny? (laughs) Yeah, and you know, fellas, since Jack found out about it, he's absolutely unbearable. I never saw such conceit in all my life. Well, with all his talent, he's got a right to... Oh, oh, here he comes now. Well, hello, everybody. Hello, Donald. Hello, Jack. Hello, Dennis, my lad. Hello. Malin. Hello. How do you do, Miss Livingstone? Take off that monocle. (laughs) Not a monocle. I broke my bifocals and managed to save one focal. (laughs) Here, Donald, uh, take my gloves and cane. Thank you. (laughs) There. Gloves and cane. Oh, boy, are you snooty. Dennis, the gloves are snooty. The cane is necessary. (laughs) Go ahead, go ahead. Have your little fun. But you'll all apologize when you know what's happened to me. Oh, we know, we know. Yeah, yes, Jack. Mary told us Warner Brothers are going to make a picture about your life. Yes, sir. The same studio that made the life of Emil Zola, the life of Louis Pasteur, the life of Mark Twain, and now... The life of Jack Benny. They're going to trace my entire career and include everyone that's played a part in it. Gee, I hope they change the names to protect the innocent. (laughs) Oh, Danny, you're just jealous. Why should I be jealous? Someday they they might make my life story. (laughs) 
They already did. It was called Idiot's Delight. <laughs> Well, kids, I have to leave you now. Rochester's waiting in the car to take me to Warner Brothers. Oh, wait a minute, Jack. We haven't rehearsed the script for tomorrow. Well, you can manage without me. Oh, no, no, no. We need you here, Jack. We can't get along without you. Oh, that silly. No, Jack. You're the one that keeps us on the right path. Oh, God. Why, without your guidance and your feel for comedy, we'd be lost. We oh. Know which way to turn. Well, Don, it's nice of you to say that. What else do you expect from a big, fat yes man? <laughs> Hmm. Well, if you'll all excuse me, I can't keep them waiting at Warner Brothers. Come on, Mary, I want you to go with me. Okay. Oh, but Jack, before you go, uh, won't you uh, even listen to the sportsmen? Oh, they have a number prepared? Yeah, they're going to do a novel version of Alexander's Ragtime Band. Well, you go ahead and rehearse it, Don. I've got to leave. Come on, Mary. All right, boys, take it. Come on and hear, come on and hear, Alexander's Ragtime Band. Come on and hear, come on and hear, it's the best band in the land. They can play a bugle call like you never heard before. That's just the bestest band, what a honey land. Come on along, come on along, let me take you by the hand. Up to the man, up to the man, who's the leader of the band? And if you want to hear the Swanee River play in ragtime, come on and hear, come on and hear, come on and hear, come on and hear, come on and hear Alexander's ragtime band. Come on and hear, come on and hear, by the smoke that's really grand. Come on and hear. Come on and hear, it's the best brand in the land. Better tasting Lucky Strike is the smoke that you will like. And just take a puff, you'll enjoy them sure enough. That's just the bestest brand, what a honey land. Come on along, come on along, join the millions who agree. On Lucky Strike, it's Lucky Strike. Give me LSMFT. And there's a reason they're so pleasing, as you know. They're toasted. Come on along. Come on along. Enjoy the strong. Enjoy the strong. Puff a lucky strike with me. Take it easy, Rochester. Watch where you're going. Oh, Jack, don't be so nervous. I'm not nervous. You must be, boss. You're telling me to take it easy and you're driving. <laughs> what? Wait a minute, Rochester. When we started out, you were driving. What happened? Remember that big bump we hit back then? Yes. Well, when the people put us back in the car, they put us in wrong. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Well, you take the wheel now. And hurry up, I want to get to the studio. Say, Mary, I just thought of something. If they're going to make the story of my life, I shouldn't only be acting in it, I should direct it. Jack. And not only that, who knows my life better than I do? I should write it, too. Well, if you do all that, you might as well produce it. Yeah. See, I can see it now. The Life of Jack Benny. Starring Jack Benny. Directed by Jack Benny. <laughs> written by Jack Benny. And produced by Jack Benny. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'll lend you my girdle and you can be your own leading lady. <laughs> no, that would be going too far. Yeah, it is the Warner Brothers lot. Oh, yes. Rochester, turn up that driveway, will you? Yes, sir. Gee, the lot is pretty full. Oh, here's a space right in the middle. Park here, Rochester. Okay. Yeah, they must be making a... 
cowboy picture. <laughs> well, somebody better tell them this ain't the stagecoach. The last one went through the radiator. <laughs> Say, you're right. It's that parking attendant over there. Hey, mister, what's the big idea of shooting at us? You took the space reserve for Mr. Jack Warner. Oh, yes. He always was touchy about that. But look, fella, I'm Jack Benny, and I've got an appointment with... Jack Benny? Yes. The one that starred in the horn blows at midnight? That's right. I did that for Warner Brothers 15 years ago. Did you see it? See it? I directed it. Well, of course, Herman. I didn't recognize you. You've gotten thin. Yeah, yeah, thin. But, Herman, I can't understand it. You were doing so well. How come they've got you out here on the parking lot? How come? All my life, I wanted to be a director. For years, I studied and starved trying to learn the profession. Every little job they put me on, I, I did with perfection. And finally, they noticed me. I became an assistant director. I was on my way up. Yeah. Suddenly, I was a director. Yeah. Everything I did was right. I was turning out hit after hit. I had money, respect. I even won an Oscar. And you came along. You were that lousy horn blows at midnight. <laughs> Take it easy. Why? Why did you have to come into my life? I used to direct pictures. Now I'm directing traffic. <laughs> Herman, put down that gun. What do you care? I'm pointing it at myself. <laughs> Gee, he's a... He's a complete wreck. I feel sort of responsible. Oh, Rochester. Yes, boss? Let Herman park the car and give him a dime tip. <laughs> Come on, Mary. I don't want to keep Mr. Warner waiting. Here's Jack Warner's office. Let's go in. Yes? I have an appointment with Mr. Warner. I'm Jack Benny. Well, he's in conference. Would you mind waiting? Not at all. Come on, Mary. Let's sit down over here. You ought to be in picture. <laughs> bum, 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 Hey, Jack. Hmm. Look at that fellow sitting on the other side of the room. Isn't that Danny Kay? Danny Kay? Where? Reading that newspaper. Oh, Yeah. He used to be such a nice kid. Used to be? What did he ever do to you? What did he do to me? Did you see him in Knock on Wood and White Christmas and that preview of his latest picture, Court Jester? Yeah, and he was just great in all of them. What about it? What about it? Who had three hits all in one year? What's he trying to do, show up Humphrey Bogart and William Holden and the rest of us? <laughs> You know, Jack, I can't understand it. Every time somebody makes a little progress, you get sore at them. I do not. You do, too. When Lassie got her own television show, you were so mad you bit her. I bit her, I bit her. I snarled at her once, and you make a big thing out of it. Anyway, this is different. I practically gave Danny Kaye his start. Well, I remember the day he came to me for advice. I was fool enough to... Jack, Danny sees you, and he's coming over. Oh, well, I'll just have to hide my feelings. Da da dee da dum da dee da dum da dum da dee da dum. Hello, Jack. Hello, Mary. Hello, Hello Danny. Danny. <laughs> How are you, Jack? I'm fine, fine. How's your mother, Danny? Fine. And your father? Oh, he's fine too. Well, the next time you see him, tell him they certainly have a louse for a son. <laughs> Well, what's the matter? What happened? I thought we were friends, Jack. Friends. A lot you know about friendship. I heard about that rumor you're spreading around that you're the greatest comedian in pictures. But, Jack, I didn't spread that rumor. And I'm sorry I'm having such a good year. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> and if it'll make you feel any better, I'm sorry I ever came to Hollywood. I'll bet. 
I suppose they had to twist your arm to do knock on wood and white Christmas and the court jester. Well, I'm sorry they were a success and that I was funny. Being sorry doesn't help. You made the pictures, you were a hit, and the damage is done. <laughs> Too late to apologize. Oh, Danny, don't pay any attention to him. Mary, what's the matter with him? Well, he's jealous of anyone that's a big success. Oh, gosh, Jack, I wouldn't hurt you for the world, you know that. I know how you love show business. I wouldn't do anything to take the bread and margarine out of your mouth. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, keep talking. I know what you're thinking. No, Jack, you've got me all wrong. I've always been your fan. I've followed your career for years. You followed me. Really? Well, sure, Jack. And I could never hope to become as popular as you used to be. <laughs> Used to be. Uh, I mean, used to well, booster we, used to buzz, the wattle bees, Bo- booster hen hens the blues, the global lays, he used to buy global sales, who who still do the, as 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 you are, I mean. Well, that's better. <laughs> Honestly, Jack, you've always been my idol. I think you're the greatest comedian in the world. You do. Yeah, I think you're swell. Oh, well, then I'm sorry I acted the way I did, Danny. I, I think you're pretty swell, too. Yeah, but you're sweller than I am. <laughs> no, no, Danny, no, no. You're the swellest. No, Jack, you're the swellest. Well... As soon as the swelling goes down, can I get a word in here? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Mary. Danny and I were just complimenting each other. And say, Danny, you know, Jack Warner sent for me because he's going to make a picture of my life. And to show you how much I really like you, I'm going to ask him if I can't... I'm going to ask him if I can't find something for you to do in my picture. Oh, gee, that'd be swell. Now, Danny... <clears throat> now, Danny, since I'm going to be in the picture, we won't need another comedian, but we will need a musical number. Do you have anything like that that you could do? Yes, yes, I do. I have a kind of an old-fashioned song that you might like, Jack. And I'll sing it. If you like it, you can have it, all right? Okay, sure. My kid brother was a lazy kid. One day's work is all the work that he did. He wrote a song entirely wrong. Up in Yonkers, it is going strong. Georgie Gordon and the other gang listened to the song that he sang. They said, cannot miss, found to be a hit. How can it miss? How can it miss when the chorus goes like this? Wop, lily, lily of the valley. Lily, won't you be my pally? You're the sweetest little flower of the lot. Who be my lily? I said be my lily and I'll be all forget me not. Who be my lily? I said, be my lily. Won't you be my lily? Come on, be my lily, and I'll be your forget me Danny, that was great. I'll find room for that in my picture if I have to cut myself out of one scene. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jack. I really hope you can fix it. Oh, Mr. Benny, Mr. Warner will see you now. Thank you. Come on, Mary. You too, Danny. Hello, Mr. Warner. Hello, Mr. Warner. Hello, Mr. Warner. Hello, Jack. Hi, Danny. Hello, Mary. Sit down. Thank you. Thank you. I'll go out and get a chair for myself. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Mary. Take my chair. Well, Jack, I bet you're pretty excited now that we're going to make the story of your life. Yes, I'm quite thrilled. We've got the whole thing laid out, Jack. We start with the day you were born. Then comes a scene when you're starting school, your first date with a girl, your graduation, 
You are enlisting in the Navy. Aren't you doing a scene when he made his first bank deposit? Oh, <laughs> we passed that. That was the day he was born. <laughs> Danny, don't be so funny. Anyway, that picture's going to be directed by me. Uh, you, you're going to direct the picture? I'm going to write it, too. Oh, direct it and write it, huh? Yes, sir. Who's going to supervise it? I am. Who's going to produce it? I am. Who's going to finance it? May I have the next dance with you, Miss Livingston? <laughs> Danny, please. Now, look, Jack, we've been making pictures for a long time, and you're not going to tell us how to run our business. Well... Now, get this. We're going to make a picture called The Life of Jack Benny, and you're not going to direct it. I'm not? No. And you're not going to write it, supervise it, or produce it. Well, I guess you're right. I should be satisfied just starring in it. Uh, well, Jack, uh... That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Mary, give me my chair back. <laughs> what did you want to talk to me about, Mr. Warner? Well, we feel that somebody else ought to play the part of Jack Benny. Somebody else? Yes. For heaven's sake, what's the matter with me? Well, you've been Jack Benny too long. <laughs> what? We feel that we ought to inject some new blood. New blood? Any blood will help. <laughs> Mary, keep out of this. Well, look, Mr. Warner, if you don't think I'm capable of playing myself in my own picture, who did you have in mind? Danny Kay. Danny Kay? <laughs> yes, that's why I sent for him. You sent... Danny! Danny, don't just sit there. Say something. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, Danny, you knew about this all the time. No, I didn't, Jack. Really, I didn't. This is all a big surprise to me. Imagine even thinking of making the picture of my life without my being in it. Oh, now, Jack, I didn't say you weren't going to be in it. I have something very important for you. You have? Yes. You're going to play the part of your father. <laughs> I'm going to play my own father? Yes. Danny Kay will be your son. And I think Mary will be excellent in the part of Jack's childhood sweetheart. So do I. You keep out of it. <laughs> yes, Papa. <laughs> no, my Papa, to me, was a wonderful... Don't oh, Papa, me, you traitor! Oh. <laughs> all right, boys, all right. Let's, let's cut this out. Huh? Now, boys, here's the, here's the scene I want you to try, Danny. It's where you come in and ask your father for money to buy a violin. You read the father's part, Jack. Okay, I'll never know why. Stop mumbling. <laughs> Go ahead, Danny. Remember, you're asking your father for money, and you're Jack Benny at the age of nine. Boy, what a tough part. <laughs> uh, Papa, uh, you know, I would never... Uh, could I have a tooth for the heart of life, Papa? Wait a minute. When I was nine years old, I could talk. <laughs> Now, read it right. Okay. Go ahead, Danny. Ask the old man again. Hmm. Oh, honorable papa. Oh. <laughs> Would uh, like to have uh, 4,000 yen uh, to buy a uh, oh, little... Now, wait a uh, What's the uh, idea? <laughs> what's the idea of doing Japanese? Well, isn't Waukegan in Japan? <laughs> Oh, it's in Illinois. Jeepers. All right, try it again, Danny. Try it again. Now, remember, you're a little country boy. Okay. Uh... <laughs> uh, hey, Paul. Uh... Oh, stop. <laughs> Look, what do you think I was when I was a kid? A moron? <laughs> Besides, you outgrew it. <laughs> yeah, heavens to Betsy. Now, Danny, you better try it as a city boy. City boy? Yeah. Hey, Pop, 
Uh, uh, look, I've been waiting ready for uh, 25 years. Uh, I'd like to have uh, two or three... Now, cut that out! <laughs> look here, Mr. Warner. If this is the way you're going to do the story of my life, you can drop the whole thing. All right, all right. Then we won't make the picture. Well, now, let's not be so hasty. <laughs> What's bothering you? You're bothering me, and I'm sick of it. We're not going to make the life of Jack Benny. Well, that's okay with me. Goodbye. Come on, Mary. Come on, Danny. Ladies and gentlemen, Jack will be back in a minute to tell you about his television program, which goes on at 7 p.m. tonight over the CBS television network. But first, let's hear that catchy Lucky Strike light-up time tune again. Yes, sir. When it's light-up time for you, light up a Lucky. You couldn't make a better choice. Here's why. Lucky Strike is the cigarette of fine, light, naturally good-tasting tobacco. Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. And Lucky Strike is the cigarette that's toasted. Yes, it's toasted to bring Lucky's naturally good-tasting tobacco to its peak of flavor so that it tastes even better, cleaner, fresher, smoother. Fine tobacco, and it's toasted... Add up to real deep-down smoking enjoyment for you. So be happy. Go lucky. Buy a carton and try them out. When you light up, I'll bet you find a Lucky is the best-tasting cigarette you ever smoked. Light up the Lucky. It's light up time. Be happy. Go lucky. It's light up time. For the taste that you like. Light up the Lucky. Right, right now. Light up the Lucky. It's Gee, I'm sorry they're not going to do the picture of your life, Jack. Oh, that's all right, Danny. After all, I'm on radio and television. As a matter of fact, I do a television show tonight. You do? Yeah, I'd like to see that. You know, I've never done any television. Well, Danny, why don't you walk over to the TV studio with me? Look, Jack, I walked over to your radio show and wound up doing a free guest shot. From now on, you walk alone. <laughs> okay, good night, Danny. See you on TV, folks. <laughs> the Jack Benny Show tonight was written by Milt Josephsberg, John Tackerberry, Hal Goldman, Al Gordon, and produced and transcribed by Hilliard Marks. Filter smokers, true tobacco taste, Real filtration, famous Tariton quality. They're all yours when you smoke Filter Tip Tariton. Filter Tip Tariton gives you all the full, rich taste of Tariton's quality tobacco and real filtration, too. Because Filter Tip Tariton incorporates activated charcoal, renowned for its unusual powers of selective filtration. Look for the red, white, and blue stripes on the package. They identify Filter Tip Tariton, the best in filtered smoking. The Jack Benny program is brought to you by the American Tobacco Company, America's leading manufacturer of cigarettes.